Hi Sagittarius, this is Christelle Martinet with another weekly, uh, with another monthly reading for the month of um, June for you. It's been about, well, just over five weeks since the last reading I put out for May. I got those out early and I'm getting it, this out at the tail end of the month, but I'm sure it will still be in time to give you some kind of insight that may help you, may be of help. I want to take this opportunity now to thank all of you who have jumped on my um, offered for free consultation. It's an, a very re rewarding exchange for me. Um, we're both learning a lot, let's say, as the consultation proceeds. And also um, a plug for the Sunday live event, I guess we have to call it an event, um, at 5.30 Central European time. Sorry for those friends down under, but every time I do this, they'll... as I was saying, every now and then my computer decides to shut off. I said every um, time I do a live show, I'll just change the timing. One time I'll wake up, one time you wake up, and one time somebody else wakes up during the night if you're interested. Uh, but for this first time, I really needed to be awake. I do need to be awake. I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> Hope it works, let's say. All right, let's see what's in store for you for the month of June. Sagittarius. Okay, I've got the magic mirror first thing out. Nice, nice. Flew out of the deck. Another mirror. Erzuli, another mirror. Wow, things are really reflecting here. Try incredible, incredible moment for you. Incredible, an incredible moment of extreme change. You're overturning your world. Okay, this can make take many different um, forms. Uh, from a the prince to a pauper, from a pauper to a prince, from a single man to a, a partnered man, from a partnered man to a single man. The opposite of what you're doing now is going to occur, and it will be an, a much desired change, however. And it's going to reflect to you your best qualities, whatever that is. It's going to be positive in the sense that it's, it's going to bring out the best in you. Now, there's also uh, here much being done during the night. Okay, your travel to astrals and your dreams and your fears are coming out at night and, and, and the idea, because it's, a, it's a, an interesting change. It's a, it's a great change. But um, what I'm seeing here is that uh, you're very calm, very serene, very pleased very happy and you're liking it, you're enjoying it, you're joking, you're having fun, you're cajoling your friends, you even don't mind going into the office, your work is even much light, lighter, your load is much lighter comparatively to the past before the, these changes have come about. It's quite interesting this um, to see. I'm going to take the, um, the um, Black Cat Tarot to take a look. And although this uh, deluge oftentimes, this tower-like situation, oftentimes heralds in something negative here, it's water that's flowing, that's a natural change of events. It is something that at your age, at your time, in your time, is about right, you know. Uh, you should be doing this, getting married because you should be doing this. There are a lot of shoulds though. You're shoulding, as I say. You're, you're doing too many shoulds, you know. Don't get caught into something that you don't want because um, what you'll find is that the nights will be populated with nightmares instead of pleasant dreams. But here I don't see any of that. I see a lot of positivity, a lot of interesting um, you sitting back, relaxing, looking, um, really enjoying your success and enjoying the interaction with others at all effort, at all different levels. Wow. Anybody getting married? Anybody getting married? Eight of Cups in this deck. Lovely. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, there is a page of wands is the exit card. A page of wands. You are being offered something. All right. But you are also offering something to someone here. All right. This is the Knight of Cups. Ah, it could be a female as well. Emperor, right in the middle here. We have um, the three of coins. Look at that cute coin. Look at that card. Let me see if I can see that. Building a white cat. 
And, um, and of course, then there's this three of pentacles. That was the three of pentacles. This is the five of pentacles. Okay. This industriousness, you know, and uh, you do are, you are doing business as usual, but it doesn't seem like business as usual. Not at all. You know, it, it seems more like getting the work done so then you can party. Getting the work done so then finally you can take a much uh, needed moment of rest. Go on a vacation. Take a look around. And, and enjoy, bask in the new situation, in your new status, in your new partner, in your new job, you know. And um, what, what, you know, there's this, underneath the deluge, underneath the tower situation, there's the emperor sitting pretty, is hold, has a, a hold on uh, the situation, is controlling the situation, the pragmatic situation, knows where he or she wants to go, you know, Sagittarius. This is a very interesting spread in the sense that we have the element of we have the element of the unknown with the wild card as well. And you're ready for that. But the element of the unknown is coming to you right when you're ready. You now there's three of pentacles, right when you're preparing for it, as if you're preparing for a new job, you know, preparing for something. You're here, you know, world, here I am. I'm ready for you. Come and get me, you know. And, and you don't not just simply waiting. You're there actively, you know, putting out, put, putting yourself out. CV, left, right, calling, making appointments. Okay, this is nice to see. And then there's this romantic situation, this lovely romantic situation that is um, quite passionate and quite sweet. All right, now I'm going to take the first thing is the magic mirror. Hmm, okay, the magic mirror is a, a your, the magic mirror is, oh, we have, Falsita, lies and um, seductiveness, okay? Disgrazia, disaster. And in the middle is sitting our Gran Signore, Gran Signore. Now this, Sagittarius, is you, a Gran Dame or a Gran Signore. And you're caught between, in Italian we say, tra due fuochi, between two fires, you know? You're, you're, um, you don't want to step on the wrong side of the tracks because you're afraid at this age you're thinking in your head. Look, I'm looking at myself. I know my age. I know where I'm at. I know I'm worth what I'm worth. I don't want to get into trouble. Okay, so the, the longer you look in that mirror, and the longer you assess your the true worth of your experience, your performance, your um, the best word is experience. The better it is because you can actually put a price tag on it. And I don't like to use that word, but when you're in the world of work, if you don't value your services, no one will, especially when you have to pay bills. So it's an exchange. And the better you know yourself and your capabilities and your techniques and your knowledge and how you can spend those well for a certain company, the better it is. Or how you can propose yourself to a, um, an organization to do uh, some kind of pro bono work as well. You have to, to make it work. If you're on uh, at the beginning of your career, to make it work, you have to make them understand that you can do the job, that you, that you are worth their while. Right? I'm going to go now to the couche, this, um, this resting card, this um, that sort of hermit-like card in the in the Rudu tarot. Mm, okay, you have a trouble. I hit on I hit it on the nose. You have a trouble with money and values. Um, you know that you don't want to extend yourself too much. You know that you don't want to get stressed, and you want to start. You've you've worked a lifetime. Okay, most of you. You're very serious. You're very serious workers. Passionate. Uh, of with what you do and creative is uh, with that you know at that the creative uh, with the Imaneo here the Deliranti Deliranti and the uh, Denaro here you're thinking that what you want to be paid for is your passion okay and that has varying levels of degree and it's more important for you to be in a situation in a context that will take good care of you and that what I mean is the package of benefits that you could have rather than the monetary price tag that is attached to your worth, you know, and that's, uh, those are things that you're spending your night's couche thinking about. Um, now, there's also another thinker here, the Congo, 
Congo to Granny Bo. I up here, yeah. Mm -hmm. And let's see what those thoughts are on about. Okay. Um, there's the domestico, the house, and gelosia. Now, gelosia is just a sadness here and or loss of money, okay? Or you're being at the rock, either you're at the rock bottom of your finances or you're sad because you haven't got to the place where you want to go yet. And what you're really looking for is a home domestic one, the house that is compounded message. You're trying to think, where do I want to live? Where do I want to go? Is this the best place for me? I want a place to call my own where I can put my head, I can have my partner if I want, my significant other, I can I invite my friends. You know, this is higher most in your mind. I'm going down to the deluge. Okay, the deluge, 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 deluge. This is the bambino, the child, the sacerdote, the priest, and fedeltà, fidelity. And what this is telling me is that now that you're a new man, a free man, okay, you're coming to an end of some kind of preparation, some kind of plan, some kind of strategy, some kind of project that is, is coming to an end, and now you're looking for more. You want to sell it, you want to sell your patent, or something like that. This is the beginning of that. But the luge is a sort of like a warning. I will not sell myself. I will not undersell myself. I want to be able to get what I am worth without working too much, but still ma making myself feel that I'm doing the best according to my abilities. All right, let's take the runes to see what they have to say, Sagittarius. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. All right, Keynotes Merck's Day, first thing. We've got Iwas, it's a journeying room. Go, go, right next to Rido. Good, you're on the road, practically on the road. Smooth sailing tier, all right? This whole first line is, you don't know what's up ahead. Your light is not shining. I mean, there's no, you don't have an, you know, you don't have really, um, a, a bussola, you don't have a, a compass, but you, you're you going on, you're going on, and you're not alone because you have accompaniment, and it's a very distinct um, uh, partnership here because each of you are standing on your own two feet with uh, Aiza right next to Manats, there's a, a partnership where there's an even exchange, but everybody's walking in their own path, and that's what makes it so interesting. And what do we have at the end? We've got Thurisat's Merkstave Accidentiate, <laughs> which means that, uh, damn you, Thurisat's upside down. <laughs> no, it, um, it's telling us of the importance uh, and also is a warning. It's a warning uh, that although you may be walking side by side to a person along your path, remember to become distinct, to, to remain distinct, because that, it's, it fell right over the card of Jalousia, of, uh, of the Sibylla, and that could be the only area where there is friction. When the couple, or when the two sides of yourself, if you are alone, get in each other's way, there's confusion there. And if it's a couple, remain distinct and nurture each other, or else there's going to be a bit of... Um, well, not, not jealousy per se, there's going to be actual loss in terms of sadness and uh, in terms of even your finances because, you, you know, it's one thing to work when you have support and it's another when you come home and, and if that person's there, and uh, if that person's there, they'll, you, you, there's mutual support usually in a harmonic, you know, a, a harmonious uh, relationship. But if that person's not there, you have to do your own food shopping sometimes, you're all the time if you want to eat, you know. And uh, so, but if you've chosen to remain alone, or if you are in the, a, a situation where you are alone, that plays out in, in the sense of trying to get to know each side, the feminine, the masculine side, the anima, the animus, trying to understand which is more prominent, why am I in this situation, what would be best for me to do if, could I possibly uh, benefit from, you know, so you start asking yourself, 
uh, questions. And it's as if there's an interior monologue. You're talking to yourself instead of having another person next to you. In the case of couples, uh, whatever sex they are, there is that um, warning here of remaining distinct and remaining on your own two feet and, you know, trying to keep the balance between you. You know, my, my mother always said to me, we we're born alone, we die alone. And that should remind us that we need to walk alone uh, in order for us to get to know ourselves as well. And when you re really get to know yourself and you're ready to exchange what you know about yourself and how you operate, it's a more mature, let's say, time. And if there are problems there, and I'm not being, you know, I'm not, you know, uh, being the 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 uh, counselor here and giving you advice, I'm seeing and what I'm seeing here, the way these uh, runes have fallen on certain specific cards, and domestico is one of the house, and the domestico is where eyes are just fell, and that is uh, a question of who you share your space with. Now, there are a lot of changes in the month of June, and these cards have have attested to that. There are willing, willful changes. There are changes that you have have ushered in that you're interested in having. Um, there are things that you don't know and don't see right now. Would like to see, but you know you feel like you have the necessary support from the person next to you and from the universe in order for you to find your way. Um, and you're in the month of June also putting not black on white, but in your own mind, understanding to yourself what it is that's important to you. How much am I worth if I'm looking for a new job? What is the threshold under which I will not go? What are the type of benefits I'm looking for? Can I work as a freelancer, an independent professional? Do I want my own business? Okay, and you're weighing the pros and cons with your family, with your inner circle and your outer circle of friends as well. It's interesting, the Sagittarius. I think that you have all of your cards you know, are on the table. You're very open. You're very, you're not hiding anything. There's, there's clarity here. Anything hidden would be in your dreams that you just don't remember. And you're very straightforward. A very interesting moment for you, Sagittarius, where you are above board with your emotions. You talk about them. You, you know, talk about your fears. You exchange. And that is, it's, it's like a, um, a circle that comes your way, you know, you, what you throw out comes out, what you, you know, I can't remember what they say in English, what goes round comes round, and um, what goes round does come round, and you'll see that further on down the road, this is just the inception, these are just the concepts, this is just the planning stage of what we want to do, you know, what am I going to do? You'll be seeing that upper, up most down the road, you'll see that these will, this moment will serve you well, because you exactly start to understand, what have I done till now? What do I want? And how do I want to live? That's more importantly. How, how, how do I want to live? How much free time is important to me? Can I negotiate free time against a part of the salary? What type of benefits do I want? Do I want more days off or do I want a better health uh, plan, a pension plan? Okay. I do hope, Sagittarius, this has helped you, but I see you smiling in the, in the wind. You know, I really see you smiling with those big white teeth that I, I could see. And for those of you who don't have teeth, we are all watching and they are lovely, just the same. Namaste, ladies and gentlemen of the Sagittarius group out there. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. And for the new subscribers, welcome. Namaste. Until we read again. Bye bye.